Representing the opposition tonight is Balbir Punj, member of parliament of the BJP and senior leader representing the government is Minister of Planning, Science and Technology, Ashwini Kumar. And representing Team Anna, who my first question goes to tonight is Arvind Kejriwal, who has been right beside Anna Azare. Arvind, I must say, first of all, that, you know, I, those crowds at Rajgarh, were they completely spontaneous or had you sent some message among all your supporters to gather there when, when, when Anna Hazare landed? Was it completely spontaneous or was there some no, no, planning? No. It was completely spontaneous, Arnab. At around 2.30, Anna ji started saying that he wants to Rajghat, wants to go to Rajghat and wants to stay there at Bapuji's Samadhi for some time. Right. And uh, I think at 3.30, we uh, took him to Rajghat and we about, we came, about just 15 of us came. There were no SMSs, nothing. Just 15 of us came and just media immediately picked it up and it was completely spontaneous. Well, that's quite incredible. Now, tell me, I want to start this debate by asking you, Arvind Kejriwal, do you think the government can arrest Anna Azare tomorrow? Do you think the government can arrest you tomorrow? If you go there, and the breaking story tonight is that 144 prohibitory orders have been imposed, which means you go there without agreeing to the terms that the Delhi police has set out for you, you risk arrest. Do you think you can be arrested tomorrow, even on the way to the venue? I don't know, all kinds of rumours are there, Arnab. Just now, uh, before your programme, some people were saying that at 12 o'clock midnight, we are likely to be picked up. Some people are saying 8 o'clock we might be picked up. But anyway, we are determined till the end. And tomorrow, as we've already said, we will start from our, uh, this thing's uh, Mayur Vihar uh, residence where Anna ji is staying. At around 9 o'clock, we'll move towards uh, JP Park. And uh, if the government wants to arrest us, they can arrest us. We will offer ourselves for arrest very peacefully. Can you afford to do that, Ashwini Kumar? Will that be taking a political risk, inviting more protests? Well, <coughs> well certainly in a democracy, every citizen has a right of expression through a peaceful protest. But it is equally true that the right to protest, which is a constitutional right, is subject to reasonable restrictions. The police, in its wisdom, impose certain conditions. I am given to understand that those conditions have not been uh, accepted. Therefore, a 144 provision has been invoked. Now, I ask you, Arnav, a question. If you or I were to go into a prohibited area and lodge a peaceful protest in violation of 144, will we be arrested or not? Will the police be entitled to arrest us or not? If so, what is so special about Mr. Anna Hazare? A self-proclaimed Gandhian cannot, cannot forget the equation of ends and means. Gandhiji said that the ends do not justify the means. And let me also tell you, this government is loath to arrest anyone without cause. I think if at all there is yeah. such a situation, it will be the police's decision considering this it will be law a and order situation decision. or possibility it, of violence. You, it, it cannot no be a police decision. No. It will be a political decision. It has to be a political well, if you decision. Say so, if you say so, either I have a right to say no or I have to write, a right to go along with you and I'm telling you, think you the that these Delhi, decisions are not. You think the Commissioner of Delhi is going to work decisions. on his own? The Commissioner these, of Delhi won't take instructions the, from the Home Minister? The, the police will take instructions, uh, not instructions, the police will take a view of its own. The police will form an assessment <laughs> of its own. This is the case, and nobody would know this better than Ms. Kiran Bedi, okay. who is ably advising uh, the Anna team. I still don't understand. Tomorrow, if a political party goes in for s such mass movements, I want to know, Mr. Ashwini Kumar, how many of these 22 conditions set up by the Delhi police would political parties be willing to undertake? You know, this is a very valid question. How many of these limits on the number of people, what you can do, what you can't do, how many cars you can park? <coughs> It's almost as if you're talking about some wedding. How many cars you can park? Well, well, you know, how many think, political parties the agree to these conditions, actually follow these conditions? Well, let, let me tell you the argument you are trying to uh, raise for a debate, uh, Arnab, is the unreasonableness of the conditions. If indeed that is the case, a court of law is open to Anna and his team. Let them go and have it quashed. The court will never accept an unreasonable restriction. But right. as a lawyer, I also know that the court does go 
with the assessment of the police. And okay. if in this particular case the court were to come to a conclusion that these are unreasonable restrictions, by your, all means that, that uh, recourse is available. Your, I, I now want Arnab, to get I the opposition. Want to ask one question. You are asking a question? Arnab, okay, I want go to on. Ask a question. Go on, Mr. Kejriwal, to the government directly. Ashwini ji, Ashwini ji uh, let's not put it on the courts. I just want to ask a small question. Would you, on behalf of the Congress, in this program, make an undertaking that next time, whenever Congress does a rally in Delhi, you will sign these 22 under, under uh, the conditions? Mr. Kejriwal, I have been hearing you for a very long time now, in the past several days. Every time you face a difficult argument, you s try to pose a counter-argument. I am asking you a question. Is your team not going around? In fact, you yourself one hour ago said that Mr. Prashant Bhushan is preparing a petition, readying it to move the court. Did you say that or not? If you did say that, you are yourself contemplating a legal remedy. You did say that. Well, you just said that. I mean, somebody, or, or I think Ms. Kiran Bedi said that. Maybe I stand corrected. On an NDTV program, she said it. She just said it that uh, uh, Mr. Prashant Bhushan said that as soon as there is an arrest, we will move the court. By that all doesn't means, answer and my let us question. not argue this. That doesn't matter. Well, it, well, it, it certainly, ans it certainly answer answers your question. question. You, choose not, you choose not to understand what I'm saying. I am saying if you feel that the conditions imposed are indeed unreasonable and you are entitled to assume so as a citizen by all means please go and have your constitutional rights enforced against the police in a court of law the government or political parties do not interfere and must not interfere with so police Mr. decisions Mr. Kumar, on the ground level Mr. Kumar do you expect us to done. believe Mr. Kumar do you okay here now I bring the opposition in do how many of our viewers tonight if you are watching this believe that the decision to impose prohibitory orders 144 there is a decision taken purely only independently autonomously by the Delhi police the government and politi politi politicians have nothing to do with it Mr. Punj no uh, before I answer your question Arnold yes I will like to say that I at least partly agree with Mr. Ashwini Kumar on one thing that this government is loath, and I'm quoting him, to arrest anybody. And uh, there are numerous examples. Mr. Hassan Ali, who was raided in 2007 and who was guilty of stashing billions of dollars abroad, he was not arrested till the uh, Times now broke the story and Supreme Court moved in the matter and only then the government arrested the man. Uh, it is not only Mr. Hassan Ravi. Then uh, you look at this uh, Commonwealth Games and uh, everybody involved, they were allowed to loot the country. The Prime Minister did not intervene. The Congress didn't do anything till the uh, courts forced the government to arrest M Mr. Kalmari, Suresh Kalmari. And uh, it is not only Mr. Suresh Kalmari. In the case of uh, Tuni scam also, the government will not arrest anybody. Now the CIG had said that the loss was 1,76,000 crores. No, so what's and your the point? government uh, since it is very loath to <laughs> arrest anybody, so they didn't, didn't touch these people till the court forced them to do. So I agree at least uh, with the part of the statement of Mr. Ashwini Kumar. And you know, Mr. Ashwini Kumar's party, it thinks the country consists of fools who will believe anything which the government says. We all know that the Delhi police and the CBI, they dance to the tunes of the Home Minister. In fact, CBI is now called the Congress Bureau of Investigation. And uh, to say that uh, the uh, Delhi police would have taken a decision on its own to ban the rally is just throwing dust no, no, here's into a question the eyes to you. of the I, I, I let, I let Mr. Kumar respond. I have a question for you. Mr. Mr. Of Anna. Wait, wait, one sec, Mr. Punch, one sec, one sec. Yes. One sec, sec. I'm just yes. asking you, suppose you had been in power. And there had been a group of people who carried out this protest, which by all likelihood is only going to lead to more and more people gathering at a spot. And you got some police advice saying that, you know, this is a situation which may be difficult to handle. I'm asking if you were the home minister, what would you do? Would you tell the Delhi police, listen, let them do exactly as they please. 
let a hundred thousand people gather this is democratically their right or would you do what they are doing we will have never done this, this, what this government has been doing in fact the <laughs> congress has a record okay, of doing now. such things and i will take you back to uh, pre emergencies day you know they have started a smear campaign against the anna team and this is exactly what they have done against shri jayaprakash narayan the lok nayak when he was leading a movement I'm against corruption by mrs indira gandhi's government okay. and he was accused of being a cia agent okay. and of uh, and conspiring with the B uh, now, let the the now let the government respond overthrowing the government now let the government respond i think the and minister no, no, heard let you let me complete let me complete <laughs> okay no, complete no, now let me complete complete briefly and this is not the only instance in case of vp singh everybody knows what happened in the saint kitts case how there was a conspiracy to involve vp singh in a totally fictitious no, I'm, case I'm, I'm, and the uh, the provocation my, for that was that vp singh had raised his voice against okay, now corruption the, by rajiv gandhi government and there are numerous instances of that and the, you know this smear campaign against the sir, anna this team is, is a part mr. of mr punj Mr. Poonch, let me tell you. Mr. Poonch, let sir, let the minister concerned. respond now. Let him respond. Otherwise, I won't no, be able to respond. keep this balance. No, no, let him respond. Let him respond. In fact, independent India has seen numerous moments right. and now. no time in the history now. the uh, the government has tried to confront the central government has tried to confront a popular movement in such a dishonest manner the way the UPA2 is doing. Attempt to crush a popular movement. The minister responds, and then I have a question for Arvind Kejriwal. Go ahead, Mr. Kumar. Mm -hmm. I only hope that my good friend Mr. Balbir Punj would show me the courtesy of not interrupting me because I did not interrupt him. My comment will be very brief. First, I do not want to dignify a comical com comment by BJP spokesperson in a very serious debate that raises constitutional, political and issues concerning the functioning of our democracy at a very critical time in our history. All I want to say to Mr. Punj is that you should not constantly suffer from a malady which is best described as a rage for saying something when there is nothing to be said. You are talking of pre-emergency, you are talking of arrests made by ABC and we not arresting Hassan Ali in a debate concerning Anna. Don't show insult to Anna by comparing his movement to, a, to an offender under the FEMA. As far as Anna Hazar is concerned, I am answerable only to what Anna and his team is doing and not necessarily to what Mr. Balpir Punch in his comical satire has to say. Mr. Anna Hazare, the Gandhian that he proclaims himself to be, should respect the constitutionality and the legitimacy of the means in justification of his ends. Nobody questions his right to raise a voice against corruption. Corruption is a national issue. It is not Anna's issue. We all are participants in the fight against corruption. Sir. We have brought a bill in Parliament. The Parliament is the bill is before the Standing Committee. It has been repeatedly said to these proclaimed defenders of democracy: Do not, in the exercise of your democratic rights, undermine established democratic procedures. These are constitutional procedures which the people of India have given unto themselves after a long do struggle you? for freedom. Do not, Is do not use the bogey of corruption you know, to destroy the pillars of parliamentary democracy. This is not the way to go about oh, it, Arnav. And it? you would be doing a great favor do you if believe, you were to encourage do, serious arguments. No, I am, I I am on a point. I, I am First, on a point. Me, yeah, but let me respond. I am on a point. You Mr. did not interrupt Mr. Point. You will be on a point. I will answer your point. But let me complete. This is a serious debate. The debate is about who, where the reasonable restriction on a constitutional right must be must trigger. The police administration has taken a view. Will. Why was it not possible? Why was it not possible, for instance, for for Mr. Anna Azar and his team to respect the judgment in favour of law and order situation? So will henceforth themselves will henceforth. We I do have not a want violence. Now let me ask you the question. I, I, you didn't answer Kej, Mr. Kejriwal's question, which I had asked you earlier. Will henceforth every Congress party rally? within the national capital territory be restricted to no more than 4,999 people. 
Or this is a question best put to the police, not to me. No, but then if they if they agree to the Congress party and not to Mr. Kejriwal and T. Manna, then it is applying well, some subjectivity. Then, uh, uh, well, you, you, you then fault it. No, no, you then fault it. Arnav, I will like to know. Let him complete. Minister. Let him answer, Mr. Kumar. You never, you never have... Presenting yeah. I mean, this is a strange argument. It's a strange... It's okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. Do you believe? One minute, Mr. Kumar. Mr. Kumar. One minute, one minute. One minute, one minute. Mr. Punj. Go and ask Delhi police. Mr. Punj, one minute. One minute. Here's a question. Do you believe... On this panel... Do you believe... Mr. Mr. Kumar... He is also representing the government. Okay, now Mr. Kumar. What's it? What's it? Mr. Kumar... For every inconvenience... Question. Mr. Kumar you has. Can't tell the anchor. You go to Delhi police and. No, no, Mr. I have a question for it Mr. Kumar. Before, what, what, Mr. Because Mr. it has no answer to this Mr. question. Mr. Poon Johnson, Mr. Kumar, you are not just a senior minister. You are also a veteran Congress person, and you have been Congress Party spokesperson. I'm asking you, do you believe that the gentleman who is sharing space with you on this program, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, is, as one of your party spokespersons has described, an armchair fascist?